Welcome back everyone to JNS Prospecting. John here. We are inside today for a very special reason. I have a new scale. Um, my last scale that I used to weigh my gold with, somebody stole from me. Don't know why, but they did. So, go out and get a new one. I found this one on eBay. It was $7. Free shipping. Came with batteries and everything. Cool. Um, we're going to be doing two things today. We're going to be weighing up the gold that I got out of the um, golden pay dirt bag. And then we're going to be weighing up my uh, plus 50s uh, little pickers and flakes and flecks and... Eventually we'll pour it all together and see what we got. Or at least we can add it up and do things that way. But uh, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Um, I was a little disappointed the scale did not come with a little tray. So I had to use its packaging as a little tray. It's a little like greasy feeling, but I think it should do the job nicely. As long as like I keep it angled in such a way that the gold is not gonna flip out this way and get everywhere. So, let's start here. Um, turn this on. It is on penny weights right now. Let's turn that over to grams, because grams is what we want. We're going to, uh, let's flip it this way. Put that on there. Little piece of plastic weighs 2.1 grams. We're going to hit tare. That will take out the weight of the plastic. And we're just going to hit the gold and we are at No vibrations on the table, just to make sure we get accurate reading, but 0 0.7 grams. And uh, that uh, is less than I thought. Um, that's everything, like all these little flecks and little tiny minus 20 pieces and the two nugget pickers. And uh, all together, that's 0.7. Um, out of a $79 bag, and it was a buy one, get one free kind of deal for Golden Pay Dirt. Um, where it was uh, the Nugget Reserve bag, it was more about finding bigger gold. Which I found bigger gold. Um, so that's true. Um, did not have any fine gold in it. Just had like some minus 20 plus 50s little pieces of gold. And it had two little picker nuggets. And um, from all the uh, other videos that I've seen on YouTube, I've seen people get like 1.5 grams. I've seen people get like 2 grams. But... This was only 0.7. It's a little bit of a letdown because I didn't get as much as I thought I was going to get. And, uh, but I still had fun with Golden Pay Dirt. So, you know, you can't complain about that. You got the fun factor out of it. You got some gold out of it. Not a whole lot of good return on investment there, but, you know, if you watched the two live streams the first one was really good because all the gold was in the first part and then there was like maybe two pieces of gold in the second part but uh yeah that was like kind of a letdown that the other half of the bag barely had anything in it um i'd still buy from them again because it was fun but not getting a return a good return on the investment, like, you figure 0.7, that's what, like, 
thirty dollars worth of gold, thirty dollars, you know, minus seventy nine. So I paid. I basically paid like you know, fifty bucks of like dirt. <laughs> but you know, sometimes that's what happens. Sometimes you don't get what you want. Tap that back into there. There's a few pieces that like to stick in here. Make sure I get those back in there. Make sure the plastic is clean. All right, next thing I'm gonna do, because I do not want to sprinkle that together. We already know that's 0.7 out of there, but let's see what this is. But first, we're gonna take an empty vial, put it on here. The vial weighs 5.6, we are going to tar that off, remove that, and add the one with gold in it. And we get 0.8. So 0.8 plus 0.7, that's what, 1.5? So that's pretty good. 1.5 grams, this is, I mean this is 0.8 right here, but 1.5 total, that's pretty good. Um, considering that, you know, not including the fact that I have like tons of minus 100 mesh gold, that this point eight here is all the bigger stuff that is like plus 50. And this took me like a couple of years to collect, including buying two bags of gold hog pay dirt. But, you know, that's good, you know? So basically, I got basically all the gold that I've collected over the uh, three or four years that I've been prospecting. So to see that much gold is pretty much the same as how much I have. That kind of increases the fun factor. I mean, like, this took me about three years to find all this. Just a little itty bitty amount. And that includes buying two bags of gold hug pay dirt. But I was able to get all of this. So it's not getting in the picture there, but let's uh, grab the vial here. Grab the very tiny funnel. I'm gonna tap that into there. We'll turn off the scale for now. We don't need that anymore. But, uh, does not want to get in all the way. So it's the last few little pieces that don't want to go in. Make sure I got it all. Yep. I got it all. Oh. Wait. <laughs> One of the pickers seems to be stuck. Use my glasses to try and <laughs> excuse me, hold on one second. that and we'll just there we go those those two picker nuggets that get caught in there let's throw those back in there anyway a little disappointed I didn't get as much gold as I thought but you know three years of collecting one bag of pay dirt about the same amount of gold. So, two thumbs up, I guess. Um, I would like to maybe start buying different bags of pay dirt, you know, for days when I'm not feeling well or, you know, the creek's all dried out. You know, just different things that can provide more content for you guys. Um, I have to say I love the fact that I have 106 subscribers. Uh, 
me and Steve are very happy about that. Um, hopefully uh, we can get Steve into a future video at some point. He's not been in a video in a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry, my voice is going a little bit. I got a bit of a cold, but Look at the gold, look at the gold, look at the gold. So what I might do is I might keep the uh, picker nuggets in here and pour all the rest into this one. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Always happy to have more gold. Till next time, guys. See you out there.